Okay, so here we're given another balanced equation and ask if we start with 4.2 moles of Fe, how many moles of FeCl2 will be produced? So let's go ahead first, write what we're given and what we want to find. Well, they give us 4.2 moles of Fe, of Fe, and we want to find moles of FeCl2. So we should just write how many moles. So we know what we're given, what we're looking for, and we have an equation. Here we know that one mole of Fe plus two moles of FeCl3 yields three moles of FeCl2. So that's balanced. Um, let's set the problem up. Let's put what we have, 4.2 moles of Fe. And over here, let's put what we want to get. We want to get some number of moles of FeCl2. Well, we can draw this here. And I'm going to need to cross out, be able to cancel out units, the moles of Fe. So I have to put that down here so they'll cancel out. And I want moles of FeCl2, so that can just go on the top. What I need to do is find the coefficients, the ratio of moles of FeCl2 to moles of Fe, cancel units out, I'll be left with this. So let's take a look and see FeCl2 has a 3 in front of it, and the Fe over here has a 1 in front of it. So I've got my ratio. Basically for every one mole of this I'll need three moles of the FeCl2. We can cancel out moles of Fe. That'll leave us with that. Let's do the math. 4.2 4.2 times 3 equals 12.6 divided by 1. So 12.6 moles of FeCl2. It's my final answer there. Let's take a look um, and see if that makes sense. So for every one mole of Fe, I get three times as many moles of FeCl2. So three times 4.2, yeah, it's 12.6. So that answer does make sense. So what I did was I started with what I was given, set up the ratio using the coefficients from the balanced equation, to cancel out and give me my final answer and I checked and saw if it made sense. It did, so we're done with this problem.